Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How's your day going? We're back with another cooking video for you guys. Rebecca McQuillan asked me to show you her how to make cornmeal mush. So that's what I'm going to do. I got an apron here. I'm going to put this on because I can get messy. And I don't want to mess up my redneck beauty shirt. Uh, I gotta represent. Yes, I'm standing on top of the stupid heater vent. This is a different apron than last time. This one's even got my name on it. Uh. Cause I can get dirty. So I'm gonna grab cornmeal. I always use this brand. Um, never listen to what the box says when you're making cornmeal. Trust me. It, trust me. Uh, as soon as I can figure out how to tie this, I will uh, show you guys how I make it. So it <clears throat> says right here, cornmeal mush. Make six servings. Uh, it's not six servings. I can eat all of them what I'm making here right now I'll show you guys so it says three and a half cups water divided one tablespoon salt one and a fourth cups cornmeal I got my pan this was my grandma's pan that she always used to make mush in so I'm going to use it I gotta stay with the program so you take two and a half cups of water and salt and put it into your pan that's not what i do i will put two cups of water in the pan The only reason I say this is because I tried making it to the way the box says to make it. It don't turn out. It stays mushy. Uh, there's too much water in it. Not enough cornmeal. So I put two cups in this and start boiling it. Boil it up. And then... I'll take one cup of water in this. Okay. A measuring cup. Oh shit! Shit's flying out of the cupboard at me because I put the butane to my torch up there instead of putting it in the laundry room which is behind there so you'll take one and a half cups of this it says one and a quarter but trust me you're gonna need that extra half cup and you're gonna need an extra or less half cup less of water to make it the thickness that you need it to be And if you go extra, it ain't gonna matter. Just gonna make it that much thicker. And you want it thick. So, I have my cornmeal, my water. Mix those two together. I love the smell of that. I, I want a thick, thick spoon. <laughs> Gyps me on a little tiny spoon. Then you just take this, I already make a mess, and just mix this together until it's a mush. All the water to it. I gotta add some salt to this. Um, oh, I hate 
make these caps on these salt grinders. I just guesstimate it ain't it ain't that big of a deal. A couple grinds if you have a salt grinder, if you have a regular salt, put the teaspoon they call for. And there there's not that much you can God, I'm splattering. Splattering. There's not that much you can mess up on this recipe. I mean, there is. If you don't cook it long enough, you're gonna you're gonna ruin it. So pretty much we have to wait for the water to come to a boil. So I'm gonna pause you guys, take you over there so you can see firsthand what's going on. I showed you this process. Really, really simple recipe. So, pause you guys, take you over there. You can see it for yourself. It sounds like the water is actually getting ready to boil, so pause. Okay, as you see, it is boiling. It's only a medium heat right now. I want it to get to a good boiling, boiling. Always use a wood spoon. My mom used to always like to use wood. My grandma, she really didn't care. But I always used wood. So, uh, now I'm going to take a spoonful of this and dump it into the water. Be quick with the stir. Be quick with the stir. I'm going to turn it up on higher heat. Stir that in until it dissolves out really good. Grab another spoonful. Stir it in. Another spoonful. Stir it in. You don't want it to get clumpy. Stir and stir and stir. And start to spit at me. So I'm going to lower the temp. And I'm going to pour a bunch of this in. Making a mess, but it's all right. And get that all nice and whipped in there. If your spoon can stand like that, you're golden. Squeaky trip. golden so move you guys let go down just a little bit so you can see it is extremely thick get it out of this pan I like to take a little bit of Grease, oil, whatever you've got, and grease the pan up a little bit. This pan. It will stick in this pan a little bit, but as soon as you get water in it, it'll start to defiling or unsticking itself because it's just cornmeal. As much of it out as there you can. Smooth it out. You want the top to be as smooth as possible because you're going to take it out of this and put it onto a pie or a cutting board. Perfect. Now we're going to let it sit just like this. 
It's already stiff, thick. Hold it upside down. It don't go nowhere. It's going to sit like that for about a half hour. Let most of the steam and heat come out of it. Then you can stick it in the freezer and speed up that process by letting it cool faster. And then once it's cooled enough where you can touch it with your hand and it's just barely warm, flip it out onto a cutting board. I will show you guys that. So here is where I'm going to pause you guys. And I'll be back when this is cooled enough to put it onto a cutting board. And we're going to fry some up. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. I can put my hand on it. It's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is take this cutting board. Comes right out. Take this, put it in the freezer. I'll be back when that's cool. More. So it's all set up. Nice and stiff. Still a little too wet. Usually when I make mush, I let it sit in the fridge or freezer overnight to get nice and stiffened up. But I'm making the video for you guys, so I'm trying to make it in a decent time. So I'm not making a video for two days straight or something, you know. And you can make this different thicknesses of how you want. I like mine about a quarter inch thick. Put some oil in there. Put it in. Let it get nice and golden brown. Some people like this really um, like my papa he used to always love this stuff like put it in the skillet leave it in for an hour and it just be hard and crunchy as can be. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the freezer or fridge. That's all I'm going to cook up for, for me to eat right now. Okay. 
It's so delicious. I use this little tiny spatula for flipping it. This works a lot better than trying to get a big spatula in there to flip. You see how nice and golden brown it's coming out. Trap. It's okay. My grandpa used to make this with hominy in it, which I never really was a fan of. Usually I would fry this up with bacon or sausage to go with it, otherwise I would eat that whole block at one sitting. No lie, I, I could eat this stuff all day long. It is delish. So, how's everybody's day going? I don't think I ever asked, or night, or whatever you may be watching this. This skillet used to be a really nice skillet back from when I was in culinary arts. Until I moved in with my uncle. My uncle got a hold of it. And, uh, things stick to it now. He used to always say, I don't understand why stuff sticks to this skillet all the time. I said, Uncle Doug, you're putting raw meat into a skillet. You're not putting anything in there. You gotta season that skillet with a little bit of oil. Before you throw the meat in there. Common sense, uncle. But I don't think my uncle had very much common sense. Get nice and crisp it up. So now that it's pretty much done, it's cooked, you can fry it as long as you would like to fry it. I like getting it looking like this, and then I'll just take it and I'll put it onto a paper towel to kind of soak up the oil. A little bit. That because there is a lot of oil in, that you cook this in. And then I just kind of pat it off. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hot, hot, and hot. Take some syrup. Just 
Yum, 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 yum. favorites mm. Mm. to die for I absolutely miss cornmeal mush oh My heart melts when I eat cornmeal mush, I swear. All right, you guys, I'm not going to make you sit here and suffer to eat all this, but uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free, shoot me a message on Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, I don't really care, email, however, if you need any help making this recipe, I'll be gladly to, a to answer any questions. Everything of mine is linked down below. My Facebook group, my Instagram, my affiliate link to Treasure Studios Art. Everything. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. See if somebody approves. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, him approves. Him absolutely love cornmeal mush just like daddy, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, you guys. Bye-bye. Tell him bye-bye, Trapper. Say bye-bye, guys. See you next time. Next cooking video will be... Roughly in two weeks. Have a great day, y'all. Peace.